multiple linear regression in Minitab simplifies the exploration of relationships between a continuous response variable and multiple predictors. Multiple regression examines the relationship between a continuous response variable, y, and more than one predictor variable, x. By examining factors such as inventory and manufacturing costs, multiple linear regression unveils their impact on cash flow, facilitating informed financial planning. Understanding the significance of variables like inventory and interest rates in predicting cash flow is vital for effective financial management. Difference between simple and multiple linear regression Simple regression examines the relationship between a continuous response variable, y, and an explanatory variable, x. Multiple regression examines the relationship between a continuous response variable, y, and more than one predictor variable, x. Multiple linear regression enriches analysis by considering various factors simultaneously, offering a more nuanced understanding of cash flow dynamics. To describe the relationship between the variables. We know very little about the variables and how they relate to each other. For example, engineer wants to understand the relationship between product reliability and oven temperature. Understanding variable interactions allows for precise control over outcomes, beneficial in manufacturing processes to achieve desired properties. We want to set the value of one variable to control the value of another. For example, a manufacturer of copper alloys can set the concentration of copper to control the strength of its alloys. Predictive power is a hallmark of evaluating relationships between variables, enabling accurate forecasts in finance and beyond. When we know that two variables are related, we can make a prediction about one variable based on values of the other variable. For example, Financial officer wants to predict the cash flow based on raw material costs. Minitab streamlines statistical analysis, making it accessible for professionals to perform complex regressions and gain insights. The purity consumed each month by a chemical plant is thought to be related to the average ambient temperature, the humidity, the pressure, and the time. The past year's historical data are available and are presented in the following table. Matrix plots in Minitab visually represent relationships between variables, aiding in the preliminary assessment of data trends. Choose graph a matrix plot each y versus each x a simple. In y variables, enter purity. In x variables, enter temperature, humidity, pressure, and time. Click OK. Scatter plots are invaluable for discerning the nature of relationships between variables, indicating positive correlations at a glance. Fitting a regression model in Minitab involves specifying response and predictor variables, a foundational step in predictive analytics. Choose STAT a regression regression fit regression model. In responses, enter purity. In continuous predictors, enter temperature humidity pressure time. Click Graphs. Under Effects Plots, select Pareto. Under Residual Plots, select 4-in-1. Click OK. Stepwise Regression in Minitab, particularly Forward Selection, optimizes model complexity by iteratively adding significant predictors. Click Stepwise. Under Method, select Forward Selection. Under Display the table of model selection details, select Include details for each step. Click OK in each dialog. Forward selection methodically builds models from the ground up, ensuring each added variable contributes meaningfully to the model's predictive power. This iterative approach ensures only the most impactful variables are included, enhancing model efficiency and interpretability. What is forward selection? Forward selection is a variable selection method which begins with empty model that contains no variables, called the null model. Then starts adding the most significant variables one after the other. It stops when all variables not in the model have p-values that are greater than the specified alpha to enter value equals 0.25.
keep adding the most significant variable until reaching the stopping rule. Based on Pareto chart of the standardized effects, the significant factors that affect the purity are temperature and time based on alpha 0.25. If the p-value is less than or equal to the significance level, 0.25, you conclude that the model explains variation in the response. If the p-value is greater the significance level, 0.25, you cannot conclude that the model explains variation in the response. Variance Inflation Factor, VIF When there is a high correlation between two or more of the predictor variable in a regression analysis, it is difficult to evaluate the individual impact that each of the correlated predictors has on the response. VIF indicates the extent to which multicollinearity, correlation among predictors, is present in a regression analysis. Multicollinearity is problematic because it can increase the variance of the regression coefficients, making them unstable and difficult to interpret. VIF equals to 1 indicate not correlated. VIF between 1 and 5 indicates moderately correlated while VIF greater than 5 means highly correlated. Standard deviation, S. S represents the standard deviation of the distance between the data values and the fitted values. S is measured in the units of the response. Use S to assess how well the model describes the response. The lower the value of S, the better the model describes the response. R square and R square adjusted. The coefficient of determination, R square, measures the proportion of variability in the response explained by the equation. R square is 1 minus error sum of square divided by total sum of square. R square is the proportion of variability in the response explained by the equation. The model explains 33.25% of the variation in the response. Use R square to determine how well the model fits your data. The higher the R square value, the better the model fits your data. The R squared should be used with caution since it is always possible to make R squared large by adding enough terms to the model. For example, the three predictor model will always have an R squared that is at least as high as the two predictor model. The advantage of adjusted R squared is that it penalizes the inclusion of unnecessary variables. The adjusted R squared is a modified version of R squared that accounts for predictors that are not significant in a regression model. R squared adjusted is a modified version of the coefficient of determination, R squared, that takes into account the number of predictors in a regression model. The adjusted R squared value will only increase if the new variables significantly improve the model's performance. The R squared value will always increase, even if the additional predictors do not contribute to the explanatory power of the model. The adjusted R-squared shows whether adding additional predictors improve a regression model or not. This adjustment helps to avoid overfitting, providing a more accurate measure of the model's goodness of fit. Residual analysis Residual analysis is the primary tool for determining whether the assumed regression model is appropriate. The deviations between the actual and predicted values are called errors, or residuals. To confirm that the analysis is valid, verify all assumptions about the model error term. Use residual plots to check that the errors have normally distributed, constant variance for all fitted values and random and independent over time. Forward selection is a variable selection method which begins with empty model that contains no variables, called the null model. Then starts adding the most significant variables one after the other. It stops when all variables not in the model have p-values that are greater than the specified alpha to enter value equals 0.25. VIF indicates the extent to which multicollinearity, correlation among predictors, is present in a regression analysis. VIF indicates the extent to which multicollinearity, correlation among predictors, is present in a regression analysis. R-squared adjusted is a modified version of the coefficient of determination, R-squared, that takes into account the number of predictors in a regression model. 
The adjusted R-squared value will only increase if the new variables significantly improve the model's performance. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel for more content. Thank you for your support.